Hey, how you guys doing? You know, there's something about this whole story that's kind of uh, looking at all the images that I just seen today of this Dr. Brantley landing in Atlanta. And I'm here at his picture right here because I want to give you an idea of what he looks like and his body type. As you can see, he's a very thin and probably doesn't weigh very much at all. I don't know, what, 150, 55 pounds, 160, somewhere around there maybe? No, something like that. It appears that he is a pretty thin build individual. So I want you to leave you with that image and we're going to go to a few other images and uh, I'm going to have some questions uh, that I want to present. Okay, now, we are at Dabu 7's video here. And as you can see, this is an assistant, and this is supposed to be Dr. Brantley. But what I want you to notice is, this is a lot thicker build of an individual than we see of Dr. Brantley over there in uh, West Africa where he was working. I'm not even really sure if this is really Dr. Brantley to begin with. Um, there is something else too that's bothering me about this whole thing and I want to show you that now so I went through Google and a few other places and looking for all of uh, images of Dr. Brantley while he was over there in the Ebola ridden West Africa where he was uh, uh, working and you can see in every instance when he was there he had on major protective clothing breathing masks rubber gloves suits glasses he's administering right here you can see he's administering blood and he's got rubber gloves on he's got breathing masks he's got the whole shebang so how did he exactly did these two individuals contract Ebola you know there's a lot of speculation about exactly how Ebola is spread you know uh, oh, the these uh, saliva droplets when you you know cough sneeze talk uh, whatever the case may be so how exactly did he contract Ebola but not only that let's go back and let's just say for instance this is Dr. Brantley. I don't think it is. He looks too big of a person and I'm and I don't mean to say I don't mean to make this sound gay or, or anything like that, but the dude's got a big ass for a skinny person as we saw that was working over there. I mean I mean does that I, I don't mean to sound weird, but doesn't it appear like he's a, a, got a lot bigger build? It does to me. But not only that, think about this. If he contracted Ebola while being this well protected, he had to have put this suit on at one time while he had the Ebola virus in him. That very well means that the Ebola virus could be residing on the outside of this suit. Am I not correct? He had to have put it on, and if he put it on, he could have he could have been talking to someone while, while he was putting it on and got uh, uh, saliva droplets on the outside of the suit, and they very well could be walking him in here, and it could release this. You you see, not only was he walked up this way, but there was guards, there was a. Uh, and over here, there was a camera crew over here without protective clothing on at all. What happens if there's a, a stiff wind and it blows water droplets or, or his saliva droplets in the air and it lands on one of those cameramen or downwind over here towards the security guard? You know what? This was This was got to be the most retarded 
event, a, a, a retarded plan ever to bring this guy over here and walk him through into this facility. And supposedly he took a turn for the worst two days ago. And what and exactly how would did he turn worse? When when we look at all of these cases of Ebola here, they're so weak they can't even move. And yet he took a turn for the worst, and he's walking just fine. Albeit he's uh, walking with the assistance of this person right here. But this does not appear to be Dr. Brantley to me. And this raises a whole hell of a lot more questions of how he contracted Ebola through the protective gear. And if, and like I'm saying, if he's working with these Ebola patients over there, and he goes to take off this uniform or this uh, protective clothing, because he can't wear it 24-7, if he goes to take it off, then the Ebola virus could be on the outside of this protective suit. Am I not right? He had to have put this suit on. The Ebola virus could be on the outside of this suit. Am I not right? Ladies and gentlemen, we could be fucked. Just saying. And I thought I'd share this with you today. I will leave the links in the description box. Of course, I won't need to leave a link for Dabu 7's video. You guys all know him. You know where he's at. And uh, thanks for watching.